Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. 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 Praise Jesus, O oh my soul. Praise the Lord, 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 O oh my soul. Praise Jesus, O oh my soul. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. Let the living praise the Lord. Let the living praise the Lord. Let the living praise the Lord. Let the living praise Jesus. Let the living praise the Lord. Let the living praise the Lord. Let the living praise the Lord. Let the living praise Jesus. Let the living praise the Lord. Let the living praise the Lord. Let the living praise my King. Let the living praise the Lord. Let the living praise the Lord. Oh, let the living praise the Lord. Let the living praise the Lord. Let the living praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. Praise the Jesus, O oh my soul. Praise my King, O oh my soul. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. Praise Jesus, O oh my soul. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. Praise Jesus, O oh my soul. Lay the living praise Jesus. Lay the living praise the King. Lay the living praise the Lord. Lay the living praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let Jesus be praised. Let Jesus be honored. I love that song that said, Jesus must be honored, must be honored, must be honored. Jesus must be honored in my life every day. Jesus must be honored, must be honored, must be honored. My King must be honored in my life every day. Oh, let the living praise the Lord. Let the living praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, oh my soul. Praise Jesus, oh my soul. Do you know a day shall come when we shall all gather together? No walk, no going to work, no morning shift, no afternoon shift. No rearing of children, no husband, no wife, no uh, anything, no family trouble, no bully from anywhere. We will all praise God from eternity to eternity. We shall be singing praises. We shall be singing adoration. We shall be worshiping. We shall be exalting. We shall be honoring. Hey, praise the Lord. Praise the King of Kings. And just are singing. The saints of God are singing. Praise the Lord. Praise the King of King. Oh. We shall do well with the Lord. We shall sing praises. We shall sing worship. We shall honor, we shall adore, we shall glorify, we shall magnify his name. That day, nothing will separate us from God again. We will be with God and the saints. We shall be together in love, in oneness, in purity, in righteousness. There shall be no tears there. We shall all sing and worship. 
We shall all bless and exalt the name of the Lord. We shall exalt the name. All those who will be reading up, we shall see them in reality. The heaven we're talking about, that has made of land of gold, that's where we're going to stand in eternity and bless the name of the Lord. Do all you could to be part of heaven. Do all you could to make heaven. Do all you could to come into heaven. Do all you could to be called in into the righteousness of God. Do all you could that the greatness of the Lord, that the mighty hand and power and glory and excellence of Jesus we come your way. Hallelujah. Woo. Glory. Glory. We shall be there. When they shall look for you in heaven, I will be there. When they shall look for me in heaven, I will be there. When they will look for you in heaven, will you be there? I will be there. Praising the name of the Lord. I say, will you be there? I will be there. I pray you will be there. I will praise the Lord. I will be there. I will be there. When they shall look for me in heaven, I say I will be there. I decree you will be there. We shall be there and pray the name of the Lord. You know, there's some prayer we pray sometimes that looks funny. Do you know sometimes we pray, we decree, you make heaven in Jesus, then no, it's not by decree, it's by living the life. It's by following the narrow way. It's by climbing the ladder, the ladder will be shaking, but the ladder is strong. If you take up courage and climb up the ladder, I told you the narrow way is so narrow. It cannot enter you and sin. It cannot enter you and lie. It cannot enter you and gossip. It cannot enter you and grudges. It cannot enter you and unforgiveness. It cannot enter you with lies. It's a single road. It's a tiny way. Do you know that? Eh? You know, yesterday I was just meditating and the Lord was dropping some words in my head. So many born again, holiness preachers will not make heaven. So many of us. Do you know why? We are so used to God that whenever we make a mistake, instead of us to repent and cry, we just wait for God. How can you handle your wife? You know what you did to your wife is wrong. You know what you did to your husband is wrong. And for one day, two days, three days, four days, you're still bearing grudges. Maybe it's your father. Maybe it's your mother. You have grudges with somebody for days. You don't even talk. You don't call on phone. You don't. Ah! Inside of your head. Mm, something is going on. You don't know what the Bible said. It said, be angry and sin not. But you still give order. Don't let the sun go down with your anger. The moment the sun has gone down with your anger, that one is gone. The moment you are annoyed from morning, then it's getting to four, begin to repent. Five o'clock, six in the evening, and the sun is setting, and God give you another grace. Seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nothing, nothing. Hey, you're still annoyed. Your name is removed from book of life. You're a sinner and the wrong one because you disobeyed the word of God. I didn't say you cannot be offended. You'll be offended, but tell the person that offended, I don't like what you did. You rebuke and eventually restore yourself. Before you restore others, restore yourself. First of all, are you hearing what I'm saying? Restore yourself. Thank you for those of you that are already sharing the message. I'm so grateful about that. God will keep you and bless you more in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for this powerful encouragement. God will keep you and bless you. I begin to pray for the mighty hand of God to speak to us right now. Let the voice of mind disappear and let the voice of God come in now. Let the God of honor, power, might, and majesty come in and begin to speak in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, may we not be hearers of the word alone. May we be hearers and doers of the word. And let the glory of God, the power of God, the unshunned power of Jehovah come in. Break that hardened heart, O oh God. Let that wicked heart, let that hardened heart be broken and let Christ come in. Unto the Lord be the glory. We say thank you, Father, for all you've done. Hallowed be your name forevermore. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. And amen and amen and amen. God bless you. You're welcome again. I see a lot of people are already here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see some people from Africa, they're already here. I can see some people in countries of Europe. Uh -huh. I can see Italy here. Spain is here already. Is in Netherlands. 
Oh, Germany is here. Oh, mama, mama, London is here. Okay. Yeah, people in Asia countries are already here. God will keep blessing you from wherever country you are listening. God will bless you. Whatever continent you are listening, South or North America, God will keep you, bless you. His hand will be there. Is it, are you listening from Australia? His merciful hand is upon your life already. It is where from any African country you are listening from, you are blessed. You are favored in Jesus' name. To God be all the glory. Thank you for all this encouragement you are giving to all. Thank you so much. And God will bless you. And God will keep you. And God will prosper you more. In Jesus' name. Spiritual prosperity will be God physical prosperity. When you are spiritually poor and physically prospering, you are off the way. You are off the track. But when the righteousness of God is first of all inside and from inside it flows out. So many of us are used to God. So many of us are not practicing what we preach. Many of us have been a disgrace to God and to the work of God. Many of us have disgraced to the work of the Holy Spirit. No, 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 no. It ought not to be. It ought not to be. What well, that is what we're talking about, trial period. You know, I never knew that there are people that got born again abroad. They never met trial in their life. Everything is there. When the sick hospital is there, I mean, they have a very good husband. They have everything is just fine and moving, not knowing. They have never met a trial period. Unlike those of us that got born again, is, ah, you mean you got born again? You mean, I mean, your peer group and this and that, the, the, the kind of disgrace they will major on you. Ah, you say, but what have I done? Is it just because I got born again? And more and more and more and more. A lot of people are being flogged and flogged because they got born again. I was discussing with one Christian brother today about one young lady that got born again. If you see the zeal the lady is preaching with, if you see the zeal she is moving with, you will say, wow, what a glorious God. What a glorious God. We give God all the praise and honor in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember that song I love so much. Trust and obey. There's no other way. To be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Yesterday I was watching something and somebody was asking the husband. They were in a terrible situation and they were asking, how can God do this type of thing to us? Ah, more is coming. Be ready. Make up your mind. Be ready to serve God. In good weather and bad weather. God wants to prove. Are you only a fair weather Christian? When it is only good, that's when you worship God. No. You must worship God when it's not good. You must worship God when it's confident. You must worship God when it's not confident. You must worship God when it's fair for you. You must worship God when it's not fair for you. We're talking about trial period. I'll begin to talk about people that pass through trial period. We talk about Joseph, the way he passed through his own trial period. And today we're going to talk about somebody again. We're going to we'll be picking some people that pass through the trial periods of their life. So that you know that this trial period we're talking about is not an easy thing. But yes, I want to be great. I want to be this. I want to be this. There's one great man of God here that's called Omo Pai. You know, uh, he lost his two children in the sea. He finished powerful crusade in Lagos. And he was with the wife and they were driving home. And the driver was having the children with the maid. Do you know, they, he came and passed the bridge and the driver slipped into the water. His two children died there. And somebody was telling God, you see that man of God, you see the way you are using him, you see the power of anointing, you see the power of grace. Lord, I want to be like that man of God. Uh, God said, okay, 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 no problem. Remember, he lost his two children. If you want to be like him, you lose your two children. If you want to be greater than him, double anointing, four children. He said, no, I don't want again. Don't give me the anointing again. I don't want again. There must be a price to pay. There must be a price to pay. Many of us are disgraced to God and disgraced to the work of God. You pay your tithe correctly. Hmm? You are moralist. Outside they see you as an angel. But what is inside? What are the thoughts you are doing? How can you be a born again child of God and you are still living in masturbation? And you fear that the Holy Ghost can still flow. Do you know what God was talking to me this afternoon? He told me that he's already tired of a lot of Christians. Chai, can you say, God, don't be tired of me. Give me grace. Do you know, when your grace is renewed, everything will look afresh for you. When the grace of God in your life is renewed, ask for renewal of grace. Lord, I want to start afresh. I need grace. 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 I need more of your grace. When the grace of God is renewed in your life, everything will be afresh. There will be honor. There will be that joy again. 
But when the grace is not renewed, the same grace you have when you started is the same grace you have 10 years ago, five years ago, last year, last two years, this year again, no, ask God for increase of grace. Let me share another level of your grace, Lord. Men of us like men of God. When you pray, ah, this man of God can speak grammar. Forget about the grammar side of it. Many of us are here as when the man of God is preaching, they will be shedding tears. <laughs> you see tears in their eyes crying. But the moment they leave that place, they are not practicing Christians. They are only hearing Christians. They are not practicing Christians. Child of God. Child of God. We're talking about trial period. When God is testing you. How many times will he even fear that examination? There are people that can stay one week without, there are husband and wife that not, they cannot stay one week without quarreling. Your children are there looking. Eh? Some will quarrel and quarrel and quarrel the people, the maids in the house. They will even coach them. Yet, in their shop, in their offices, the maid will see them preaching Jesus in holiness and righteousness. Who is deceiving who? Let me tell you, I was discussing with my wife this evening. I said, God knows what he's doing now. I said, the worst thing that can happen to a man is when he preaches what he doesn't practice. When a man preaches what he does not practice, he goes a long way to destroy him. He's a hypocrite. Don't you see the Pharisee and the publican? I am not like the publican. I fast three times in a week. I, I, I pray a long prayer, this and this and that. I am not like him, judging. Who told you you are not like him? Is he not better off? So many unbelievers. Jesus said you will be there. And so many unbelievers, the prostitutes, the thieves, the armed robbers, the kidnappers, will live where they are and what they are doing. They will cry and come and enter the kingdom. But you, that the kingdom is made of you, the house of God, that have been in the house of God, look at how you are missing heaven. Small grudges, you are still holding it for long. Everybody has spoken you had in your heart. That is your own destruction. We're talking about trial period. Your husband is provoking you. It is trial period. This woman will keep provoking me. When your wife is constant provoking you and you cannot endure it, there is something in you that has not been broken that God wants to be broken. Are you hearing me? Makanda rabba ba 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 ba. Sharim Brahanda Shiraba. We shall live for him to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Another man, the figure we're going to discuss today that served God with a lot of trials and made it to the end is Moses. Let's talk about Moses. Brethren, let's talk about Moses. That man, the Bible said that of all that are created, I mean, nobody is as humble as he is, child. Nobody has been like him. Of all that I created of God, of all, nobody has been as meek as he is. How can small thing you are praising God, or another small thing, your face have changed, you are crying. Why should the situation make you to cry? You, you, do you know what I mean? Because you are in difficulty, you are crying. Because the devil threatened you, I will deal with you. I'll make sure nobody rises from you. I'll make sure this, who is the devil? A mere word. The devil doesn't have right to know what you have in your mind. They said, you speak it out. That's the only time. Be a practicing Christian, not a hearing Christian. A hearing Christian and a practicing Christian. Which one are you? May God give us grace. Your pastor have told you not to listen to any man of God again. Does he have it all? I don't have it all. No man of God have it all. We need the minister of an apostle. We need the minister of a prophet, real prophet, not the one that has seen the color of your pants and seen your money in your pocket and seen your ATM number and your bank. No, no, that's not the word I'm talking about. I'm talking about the real genuine prophet. We need the minister of an evangelist, the shakers. We need the minister of a pastor, the mother. We need the minister of teachers, the, the narrators that teach us the truth of the word of God. For how long shall we live? For how long shall we remain in a situation like this? May God show us grace, abundant grace, mighty multiple grace in the name of Jesus. Mm. Like what I said, everybody I felt like quitting, 
Does God not answer prayers anymore? In prayer period, you say, God, maybe God doesn't answer prayers anymore. It seems that God left, went on transfer. Jesus went on leave. And Holy God just left and traveled his own. It seems you are alone. But you don't know that time is the time God is doing something mighty and wonderful. What I'm telling you is the experience I had about 30 years ago, 35 years ago. These are the experiences I had. And God was working something beautiful. We're talking about the man Moses today. In the book of Numbers chapter 11, let's read 14 to 15. Numbers 11, 14 to 15. Numbers 11, uh, verses 14 to 15. Numbers chapter 11, verse 14 to 15. Thank you for those of you that are writing it boldly for me. Keep doing that job for me. It, it, it gladdens my heart. And this, it, 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 some people say it's sweet my belly. You know, the, 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 the pigeon English say they sweet my belly. So I like the when I quote, you know, those of you that can cash it on time, you write it and the people will see it. They say, okay, is that where you quoted? Because as I'm talking, there are people that are writing. So when you help them to place the quotations, they'll be happy about it. Thank you so much. And may the Lord keep keeping you in the name of Jesus. Exodus chapter 11, verse 14 to 15. Exodus chapter 11, 14 to 15, the Bible says, I'm not able to bear all these people alone because it is too heavy for me. And if thou did us with me, kill me, I pray thee out of hand. If I have found favor in the sight, let me not see my wretchedness. Oh my God. If I found that favor in you, thank you so much. Aramadike, God bless you. Alusa, Allah, thank you for writing that for me. I'm so grateful about that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. God bless you. Okay. God, we keep keeping us. Yeah, Maureen, you wrote it. Thank you so much. God bless you. You've been doing this for a long time. You've been the real one doing that for me. And one person again, that's glad. Thank you so much. I'm happy about that. And some other people have been helping me to write it so that other people will meet up with it. Thank you so much. God bless you. Sometimes there are people that when I make point one, they will write it, point two, ah. That when you follow up with such people, you will be so excited. So the other people that just came in will read the whole point and will follow in immediately and know where we are. Thank you so much and God bless you. As for pro promoting the work of God, so will God promote every good thing about you in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay? You see, Moses was telling God, he said, I am not able to bear all these people alone because it is too heavy for me. That is exactly the trial period. When God wants to withdraw, I will draw. I will not go, Moses said, you withdrawing? Hey! Kill me then. I don't want to see my wretchedness. They will tell me I made all this mistake. No, 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 no. Kill me. Let's pick the man Moses and discuss him. The case of Moses is too great that we might not even finish Moses alone today. Yes, no wonder the Israelites, today when you get to the land of Israel, they are still worshipping Moses. The Lord of Moses, the Torah, uh, uh, the, 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 the Pentateuch, they call it Torah. The Pentateuch, the five books of Moses, these are what they are interested in. Book of Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, these five books. These are the five books the, 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 because Moses was involved. Today, today, even as I'm talking to you today, if you get to that place, you know, where Moses built the welling wall, the remain of the temple of, of Moses, the temple of David, Solomon, I mean, that is where they stay. <sighs> That's where they stay. The Jews, they continue calling upon the name of God of Moses. They believe in the prophets too. But for Jesus, mm -mm. they say, forget about that man. He doesn't exist. He's not real. Yesterday I was trying to read something and it says, how many reasons and reasons why the, is the Jews didn't believe in Jesus. I said, don't mind them. It's not their fault. Look at this man, Moses. Let's, let's pick him from his trial. What did he do? Oh my God. God will help you. It is well with you. 
God bless you, my daughter, Esther, and my sister, too. It's well with you. God bless you. All right. Okay? It is not too much. The level of what you suffer is the level of what you're going to receive. Let me tell you, it's not all you suffer here on earth that you're going to reap here on earth. There are a lot of things you have suffered here on earth, you reap them in eternity. There are a lot of shame and disgrace that have come on you that you're not going to reap here, you will reap them in eternity. Are you hearing me? Continue. Don't get discouraged. There must be a trial time. Every marriage must have a tough time. Now, when do you know? Don't worry, we're going to talk about marriage. Please, please, please. For those of you that have not sent your questions, please send your question. Uh, my brother Jonathan Akali, send forth your question. Yes, or I have not seen your question. My daughter and sister Esther have not seen your question. And so many of us ask a lot of questions about marriage. 16, 17, and 18th of next month, August. We're going to talk about marriage. A lot of questions people sent to us. We're going to discuss them about marriage. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Okay. Now, you may be counting your deal. I suffer this, suffer this, suffer this, suffer this. One day when I was a little child, I told you our father died so early. When I was a little child, we went to farm, far place. And my mother met a woman. They never knew, they just introduced. That far place, less than about three, four kilometers or more. My mother was telling and discussing her ordeal to one woman she met. The story made a long journey to be a short one. The woman was shouting, is that what you passed? By then, I begin to hear, since her father died, the day where they wanted to kill her, the way they wanted to kill her, and the Lord, 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 and the Lord of things that follow suit. Mmm. She was telling her ordeal, what she was passing through. Have you been telling people your ordeal? People cannot help you. Until the day, Jehovah will remember you. Until the day, your son will rise. Hallelujah. Moses came in. Look at what Moses passed through. Number one, Moses was born in the days of trouble, in the days of slavery, and the evil decree. That was the time Moses was born. He was born in the days of slavery, in the days of trouble, in the days of evil decree. Just as somebody born into Nigeria right now, you will know the person is born in a crisis time. No matter the part of Nigeria you are born into right now, you are born into crisis time. But God will help us, we will come out of it. There shall be a separation and there shall be a deliverance in this country. Whether the devil like it or not in Jesus' name. The people that are oppressed must be free in the name of Jesus Christ. God has risen. It has happened in the spiritual realm. Just as a matter of time, the whole thing will work out. Hallelujah. We give God all the praise. We give God all the adoration, dominion, and thanksgiving. To God be all the glory in Jesus' name. He was born in the days of trouble, in the days of slavery, in the days of evil decree. That was when Moses was born. He was born in a problem time. In the book of Exodus, chapter 1, from 15 to 17. Exodus chapter 1, from 15 to 17. Exodus chapter 1, 15 to 17. That was the time when Moses was born. And the king of Egypt spoke to the Hebrew midwives. Of which the name of the one was Sephira and the name of the other poor. And he said, When you do the office of a midwife to the Hebrew women, and see them upon the stool, if he be a son, then you shall kill him. But if he be a daughter, then she shall live. Born in the days of evil decrees. Born in the days of evil decrees. Oh my God. This was the decree that was given to the Hebrew. Ah. You say, if a woman is delivering in the land of Egypt, a Hebrew man, woman, if he's a man, kill her. Him. If he's a woman, allow her, will marry her and enslave her. That's the plan of the Arabians from the one. That being the plan of the children of Ishmael. They are looking for people to dominate. But they will not dominate you. They will not dominate me. They will not dominate our country in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay? Look at what happened in verse 17. But the midwife feared God. Hallelujah! Midwife feared God and did not as the king of Egypt commanded them. 
but save the men children alive. Kai, that's heart of a mother. Heart of a mother. No, we will not kill them. Let's save them alive. They will save them alive. Oh my God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. They saved them alive. They were afraid of God. Child of God, are you afraid of God? So many of us that talk holiness, preach holiness, but we don't practice holiness. We are no more afraid of God. An unbeliever will hear about God and fidget. A child of God will hear about God and say, mm -hmm, I'm used to him. There's one sister that doesn't pay her tithe. And somebody will say, why not pay? They say, me? Ah, no, I don't pay. I'm so, ah, me and God, eh? Eh, eh, eh? That's how we are. Me and God, eh? Yeah, you and who? You don't know which God you're talking about. Bible said, there was one version I read, it said, nobody can, God is so holy that nobody can commit the sin and get away with it. Any person that commit, look at David, how tight he was with God when he committed immorality to God, say you have sinned. God left. Abraham, too close, when he tell her, God said you have told life. Have you gone half of the way Moses was, the way Abraham was, but God was exposing them and then how much more you? If there's anybody to fear, be afraid of God. If there's anybody to reference, reference God. If there's any person to bow down, to bow to God of heaven. Moses was brought up and born in the days of trouble. It is enough discouragement. There was a cartoon they made. A child was born. And when he was, the head was coming out, he discovered it was Nigeria. The child went in. I said, no. I was laughing and laughing and laughing. I said, child, our situation here has gone round about the world in disgrace. But the same disgrace that come, God will separate us and we shall be in honor in the name of Jesus. Amen. You see, Moses was born in a troubled time. It's enough for him to start complaining. But he never complained. Number two, he was brought up in an ungodly environment. We are gods of Egypt. We are supreme. Have you seen the trials of Moses? His trial started even before he was born. He came forth in life and saw trials. Eh? He was born, brought up in an environment where the gods of Hebrew was not. We are mentioning the gods of Hebrew is a taboo. But he endured. He continued. Chai! That's the love of God. We are the gods and goddess of Egypt. People were bowing down to it. There was never a record where Moses bowed down to any of these goddess. From childhood, they were stealing the word of God in him. Stealing the word of God in him. You don't bow down to idol. You don't bow down to demon. You don't bow down to devil. But many of us are compromising. Sometimes our wife may misbehave. I will say, no, no, no. The tradition of the land is saying, if any woman has gone out, she will bring this and bring this. The gods of our land, will, if not, the man will die. Why are you believing that nonsense? I thought you were born again. I thought you have been separated. Then why bring in the tradition of your land again? I know there are good traditions. There are traditions that dresses very well. It feeds them. The traditions that make it very beautiful. There are good traditions. Respect for the elders and other things. So Moses was born in such an environment and was brought up in an ungodly environment. Yes, he became godly. Child, whosoever that should be wise will be wise, no matter. Whosoever that should be useful will be useful, no matter what he passed through. God want the best out of you. You want to be like Moses. You saw the greatness of Moses. He was the only one that God spoke face to face with. But if God didn't just get up one morning and started speaking face to face with him. He was God favorable, but God dealt with him from the one. Ah. Point three about the case of Moses. Moses never enjoyed parental brought up. His father and mother never sat down to bring him up. He never enjoyed parental. The mother and the father. Maybe I cry, my father died for long. Ah, my mother died for long. Moses had only the mother taking care. The father was not there. Hey, don't do this. Hey, don't do this. Don't do this. Your father has been shouting. He said, continue talking. Continue bullying me. This and this. So many of us have become too offensive about the corrections of our parents. But Moses, oh, through the environment he was brought up, the mother keeps stealing in the word of God in him. May God give us such obedient children like Moses. Who will value God more than the gods and the silver and gold. Of Egypt. Any kind of woman Moses thought, oh, we'll be married for her. 
for him. But no, it's not Moses. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's not Moses. May God give us grace. May God help us. You see? Moses never stood the one that said, why are you dealing to me? Why are you treating me this way? No. He never did so. No, he never did. He never did. He was grateful to God in every situation. Are you grateful to God in every situation? Are you not among the people that go, God, why? God, why? You must tell me why. You go into prayer and fasting. Have you gotten the answer? Why are you asking God why? The great God. One woman was talking to me yesterday. He said, a woman was called to the ministry. She refused to answer. She said, God, no, 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 I don't have time. You know, I'm in big business. I'm controlling money, this and that. Until the first, uh, the, the son died. He cried. The death of the son so touched him. Ha. While he was crying, the Lord said, you're crying. Because just you are one son. What of my so many sons and daughters that are dying here and I call you to come and save? You said, no, you're in business. You will see even more. If you don't obey, that was what prompted the woman. She learned her lesson in a hard way. May you not learn your lesson in a hard way. In the name of Jesus Christ. Obey on time. Like what I told you, what I saw in eternity. I saw a bottle, very transparent, filled up. If you turn it like that, it is 100% filled up. And God said, these people who are filled up to the brim are the people that when God is talking, they will hear and they will obey immediately. It was removed and reduced to this level. And God said, it take me one week to convince these people. It was removed to this. And God said, this people, it take me one month. It was removed. God said, these people, six months. This people, it take me one year to convince them. When they get there, God said, no, 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 no. They are on Waterloo. I cannot convince people like this. They come to church and they do what they like. They can be powerful. Hey. They can be powerful. They can do this and do this and do that for you. But they are not. Who God wants them to be. May we really be who God wants us to be. In the mighty name of Jesus. That the light of God will shine. I love that song that said. I have seen the light. The light of God. I have seen the light. Oh, amen, amen. Jesus is the light. The light of God. I have seen the light, oh, amen, amen. Jesus is the light, and is the mighty light of God. We have seen the light of salvation. To God be our glory, who made us to see the light in Jesus' name. Amen. You see, Moses was born in the bad days. Trouble situation. He was brought up in an ungodly environment. Where gods and devil and the gods of the land and devil and demon were order of the days. Yes, most of all would have said, why? Because of the gods in my father's family. Uh -huh. They keep on enchanting and chanting. Moses was brought up. But then Israel, Egypt was the most powerful nation on earth. The gods and demons they worship was where Moses was brought up. Have you seen it? May God be our help. May God be our sustenance in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, the father was not there to give him counsel. Because he was regarded as the son of the daughter of Pharaoh. It was assumed he was picked. But he knew his identity. Do you know one thing that happened? The same Pharaoh that gave order that when it is a boy killed, a boy from Hebrew land who will be a deliverer was brought up in Pharaoh's house. And the mother was being paid for taking care of the son. What a God. What a wonder working God will serve. What a great Jehovah we serve. Hallelujah. Number four. He was betrayed. Have you been betrayed before? Many people stop going to church. I was talking to somebody in my office, I think some few months ago. I was ministering the word of God. He said, yes. Because of what the pastors are doing. That is why I stopped going to church. I said, ah, because of what pastors are doing, made you to stop going to church. I say, you are not serious, sir. Most because of betrayal, this and that, I say, you are not serious. You are not betrayed you. That's why you want, don't want that marriage. You are betrayed you. Moses was equally betrayed. 
It is part of the training. Anything happen to you is for your betterment. Bible says all things are working together for good to those that love God. Everything is working together for your good. But you don't want to know everything, both failure, both light, both darkness, both the good news and bad news are working together for your good. All you want to say, I can say everything turning around, everything turning around, everything turning around for my good. Those things that are turning around from where they were facing and are facing you for good, do you think they are happy? The devil is the god of this world. You know that. He is the god of this world. You know that very well. So anything you get from this world, you take it from by violence and by force from him. Because the Bible says, since the death of John the Baptist, the kingdom suffered violent men and women of violence will take it by force. We take all this thing by force from the devil and demon and power of darknesses. Okay? So he was betrayed. Let's see Exodus chapter 2. Let's see verse 13. Exodus chapter 2, 13 to 14. Exodus chapter 2, 13 to 14. Exodus chapter 2, verse 13 to 14. This is what he was passing through. What are you passing through? This is from one hodu to another hodu to another hodu. Moses was passing. God, I don't want this trial. God, I don't want this thing again. You are telling God, don't train me. Don't use me. Don't make me strong at all. No wonder we don't have powerful children of God today. It does that we have powerful children of God. They can repent. They will tie them and keep them three days without eating. And they're teaching you emergency fasting. But today, when you ask a child of God to uh, uh, fast, they say, ah, I have also, ah, I have also. Somebody came to my office, I gave them three days praying and fasting to this, I have also, I said, stop that. Go and do the praying and fast, who is also to stop you? You with the wife, they said, we're going to go, man of God, I've said it. Do you know they went and do the praying and fasting? By the time they came back, the upper week, they were telling me that after the praying and fasting, they never saw the also. That the demon of also ran away and they were healed. After doing praying and fasting. But also has caged you. May you be delivered now. May you be delivered now. May you be delivered now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible said. Okay. From Exodus. Yeah chapter 2. 13 through 14. And when he went out the second day. Behold two men of the Hebrews. Strove together. And he said to him. That. That did the wrong. He said to him that that did the wrong. Where first me that thy fellow? And he said, Who made thee a prince and a judge over us? Intendest thou to kill me as thou killed the Egyptian? And Moses feared and said, Surely this thing is no, no. Hey, I thought I was running for my people. I thought I was, hey, I thought I was. With my people, oh, this thing is no, no. Hey, this thing is quite no, no. He was betrayed. The people he was fighting for, the people he was fighting for, betrayed him. Man of God, have you been betrayed before? I have been betrayed a lot of times. God was trying to know what my condition was. There was one pastor that betrayed me. Hey, oh my God. I brought him into the church where I was as an evangelist. When, you know, I told them the pastor was not there again. I told them they don't have a pastor. I told them, I'm going to pastor. Don't worry. I know my calling from the one, but I told them, let me hold on for three weeks. Let's get a new pastor. Do you know I was holding on for three weeks? I was holding on for one month, for two months, getting to three months. I know that was not my office. I told them better look for a pastor. Thank God. I have to help to get one. It was me that got that one, though. And then, to the glory of God, before he was handed over the church, I told him, this is a church. Look at the setting. People have different characters. Do you see so, 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 sister? Ah. So, 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 sister. Ah. Please don't visit her alone. Do you see so, 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 person? Don't be open up when you are discussing. Everything you discuss, he will tell I just told him, give him a tip of some people. I said, be guided. Amen. I prayed with him. We shook our hand and left. He took over the mantle. As an evangelist, I was going out, coming in. One day, I was told, eh, we're going to have a meeting after Sunday. So if man of God be there, because when they're having church meeting, committee, committee, that I will go away. That's what will kill a lot of evangelists. I will leave there. They say, please, sir, 
in this one, in this one now, uh, this and this and that. I waited though. Do you know? The moment the church was over, do you know? All the things I discussed with him. He went and told these people and added his own, added salt, added onions, added this. Hey! People were seeing me as a devil. They were seeing me as demon. They were seeing me as darkness. Hey! No wonder. They were saying this one is an angel. He's not, not that type. He's a, hey, I was betrayed. I, there was nothing I could do. I got up and said, I'm sorry. For, yeah, I'm sorry for what? Yeah, da, 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 da. Deacon, Deacon, this is this. Hey! The Jesus of the church got up. He was the other day. I scolded the pastor and said, this is not the right thing to be done. Why? The Jesus was mad on him. And we left. I came home. I couldn't stay. I couldn't sit down. I was betrayed. I went back to God in prayers and the Lord said, you cost it. See me? Hey, that's how heaven judged their case. So, Lord, you mean I cost it? Most of the betrayer, you are the cause. You mean I cost it? The Lord said, yes. How did I cost it, my king? He said, I called you to be an evangelist. Who told you to volunteer to pastor? I said, because there's nobody. He told me, you want to be like Uzziah. Uzziah wanted to help God. Be in your office. Allow my work. It's my work. I said, hey, I'm sorry. What do I do? He told me to go and look for that man of God that betrayed me. That if I will succeed in getting him and embrace him, that he will give me grace to forgive him totally. The flowing day I left. I saw him close to his house. He was coming out. I saw him. He was smiling. I put on artificial smile. It was not from my heart because I've not really forgiven them. He shook my hand and said, man of God, I didn't know what happened though. I didn't know what brought me into this. I hugged him. The moment my heart thought his heart, something left me. Hey, I had peace. God, this is a heavy load. Sin is the heaviest load you can carry. You can't carry sin. It is too heavy. Go and reconcile with those people you don't talk to. There are how many of them? One, two, three. How many of them you don't talk to? Two of you will pass like two sheep. Two goats. Go and make peace. The moment I hugged him, tears, I'm talking to you right now. We are close. He has had a lot of problems that the one I gave him is, ah, I'm not expecting this from you. I said, yes. That is love of brethren. Oh my God. We give God all the praise, adoration, dominion, and thanksgiving in Jesus' name. What a great God. What a mighty God. What a loving Father. Who bless the ancient of the days. The great I am that I am. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. May God give you great authority. Let those that insult and betray you in the name of Jesus. Moses was betrayed. You want to be like him? This is what he's passing through. Do you see the suffering he went through? Number five. Oh my God. <laughs> mm, remember the person that betrayed him before I talk number five the person that betrayed him was a fellow Israelite not an Egyptian a fellow Christian, a fellow pastor do you know the greatest enemy of a pastor is the pastor the greatest enemy of the the, the chorister is somebody, in the, is, is somebody in the choir the enemy of a doctor is the doctor do you know that these things are life. These things are life. Forget about who betrayed you. They are lifting you high. If Jesus was not betrayed, he wouldn't have been the king of glory. It's a procedure. It's a cup, God has said. It's a cup. It has been said. It's a cup. It's your own cup. You must do what? Drink it. You must drink it. It's your cup. You must drink it. 
Don't give it to another. It is you that will drink it and taste the bitterness and the sweetness. In the drinking, it is bitter. After drinking it, it is sweet. You saw the Joseph brothers. They betrayed him. But what happened later? He became the great king. Prime minister. The people that hated him, they want a great man to rise, but not from their own family. If Joseph had been from another family, he's welcome, he's okay, he's okay. But because it's from their family, mm -mm. you might not be honored in your family. But because the God has put mark of greatness upon you, whether they like it or not, they must honor you in that family. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God, I decree, Amen. Continue with God in holiness and righteousness. They must honor you in that family. When you honor Jesus, he will allow men to honor you. Did you get my word? When you honor Jesus, Jesus will honor, allow people to honor you. Jesus must be honored in your life every day. Hallelujah. Yes. Point five. Oh, I don't know why I'm stressing on this. You say, why is hurting me? It's because somebody worshiping the same God with me. Somebody in the same church with me. Somebody in the same fellowship with me. A co-child of God. A co-pastor. A co-minister. Somebody. Somebody too close to me. <laughs> it must be somebody close to you. It was a Hebrew that betrayed Moses here. Moses said, ah, this thing is no, no. I thought I did this and I killed this Egyptian who was molesting my people because of the authority I have from the king's house. I was thinking I was doing for their better men. I was thinking I was fighting a just fight. I don't know. The two of my brothers are quarreling. I have to tell them, why are you quarreling with your brother? And look at what this guy has told me. Look at what this young man has told me. He was shouting on top of his voice. The Israelites were hearing it. The Egyptians were hearing it. Moses said, ah, this is not a secret. Oh, thank God he did good for Moses by shouting it. That made, it, made Moses to run away. Number five, Moses was declared wanted. Have you been declared wanted because of goodness of God? Because of righteousness of the Lord before? Have you been thrown into prison because of Jesus? Joseph went to prison. Have you gone to prison? Moses was declared wanted. Look at verse 15. What we're reading in Exodus chapter 2. Look at verse 15. Exodus chapter 2, verse 15. Look at what we're reading already in Exodus chapter 2. Look at verse 15. Now when Pharaoh had this thing, he sought to slay Moses. Have you seen it? To understand that your life has been sought because of what your brother, because of what your sister, because of what your husband, because of what your wife has done, because of what your child has done, because of what your father has done, because of what your mother has done. Sought to take his life. Chai. Now when Pharaoh had this thing, he sought to slay Moses. But Moses fled. Oh my God. Oh my God. He has to. He was declared wanted and he left for exile. For his dear life, he left. Eh? Now when Pharaoh had this thing, he sought to slay Moses. But Moses fled from the face of Pharaoh and dwelt in the land of Midian. And he sat down by the well. He ran away for his dear life. He was declared one thing. He went for exile. Thank God it was not in Kenya. He went to exile. They would have brought him back to Pharaoh. Wickedness all over. Wickedness all over. The Bible said, don't report a child to his master. You see a child, you want to report the master. The master will sack him. The child may be useless all the days of his life. You are the cause. Call the child. Call the servant. Don't discuss. Don't report the servant to the master. But you can report the child to the father. Say so your boy is not doing after first, second, three corrections. But you saw a servant serving a man. You could do something that you go immediately and report to the master. The master will sack the boy or sack the lady, and then you are responsible for every pence he has to bear. Moses was reported. He fled. He ran away. I said not to Kenya. He fled. He ran away to the land of the media. Outside the father, outside mother, outside brothers, outside sisters, outside countrymen. 
have Christianity made you to be abandoned by everybody? There was no telephone to communicate them. There was no letter writing of those days. Nothing, nothing. For 40 years, he was separated. Those of you abroad have lived there possibly 15 years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, you have not gone home. You are crying, you are clamoring. God, I need money to go home. This and this and that. Do you know there are people that have lived abroad for 20 years, 18 years, 19 years, they have not gone home. They gathered everything, sell everything, took money from their credit card, went home, and they never came back. They were poisoned. And God was hindering them from going for a long time, and they were not understanding the signal. They were killed. So we were kidnapped. They were not understanding the signal. That is why God is hindering you from having excess finance. Because he knew what you were going to do with excess finance. God is more interested in, in your life than what he, he wants to give to you. Are you hearing me? That's why it seems like God has not done it. God has not done it. He will do it. He is God. He will do it. He has been doing it. He will do it again and again. Look at what Moses was passing through. How many have you passed through? You have not been a persecution before. You have not seen trouble. The highest trouble you see is that your husband is bullying you. Your wife is bullying you. That's the highest trial. That's the highest temptation. And you cannot bear it. You said, I gonna divorce. I gonna divorce. And you divorce. <laughs> mm. I'm asking for mercy of God upon our head that this God of life to show us mercy he was declared wanted he ran away for his dear life have you preached Jesus and for Jesus sake you ran away for your dear life Jesus when he preached they wanted to do he went to Capernaum he left and went to that place. Child of God. What have you suffered for Jesus? As many that suffer with Jesus. They shall join Jesus. To reign in eternity. As many that suffer for Jesus. They will reign with Jesus. In eternity, as men that are labor for Jesus and labor with Jesus, they will. Do you know we're working with for God, but not with God? Many of us have gone and begin to do what they like to do. Because it is hard, because it's difficult. You left the real way, you left the true way, and you begin to do it your own way. God will shame me somebody. I got the person and said, Come on, the ministry where you are is not your ministry. He said, I know. I have started before. I that ministry is to do this and this and that. I cannot. I said, eh. There was one brother, God gave the one sister. I mean, God gave the ministry of help. God said, I'll give you finance, but your duty is to finance people and keep helping people. Big money came, he distributed. Another one came, he distributed. I wonder the sister got broke, got broke, got broke. Nobody was giving to him. Ha. Huh. He said, ah, I was helping people. People are not helping me. You're not banking in a bank. You're banking for God. And he knows. God was trying to test her. She became so broke that for months she had no money. When money came again, she became the most stingy person. That's why the money flowed and came in much. She became so stingy. She said, hey, I thought that when I help you, you help me back. Don't, when you do good, don't expect it from man. Expect your good from the Lord. When you bless somebody under you, God will use somebody higher than you to visit you. Hallelujah. We're talking about trial period. We have picked the man Moses. I told you what he passed through is too much. We can't finish it today. Well, we stop. We we'll continue on Monday about the life of Moses. What have you passed through? What pain have you passed through? A woman was going with a child, three children in communist country, and they stopped her. Hello, madam. Denounce Jesus of Nazareth. Denounce him now. The woman said, Me? No, I can't deny Jesus. Pia! They cut off the head of the one of the children. Pia, they cut off the head of the second one. Do you want to deny Jesus now or this head roll? The third one said, Mommy, don't deny Jesus. Let my head roll. I will only say good evening here and say good morning in heaven. Mommy, allow them. Don't allow, let my head roll. Don't deny Jesus. 
The woman looked up in tears and saw the first child died, the second child died, and the third one is supposed to die. She made the choice. She was in between opinion. She was in between choice. What am I going to do? Which choice am I going to take now? Two are gone already. This one I love so much. Can she be just the only child I have? She was taking a decision. She was looking up. She was looking down. What do I do? What am I going to do? How am I going to do it right now? When you are in between opinion, who takes decision for you? Is it your father? Is it your mother? Is it your brother? Who takes your decision for you? Before you understand it, the woman shook her head. I said, no! I choose Jesus of Nazareth. I choose the Lord. I cannot deny him. Piam! They cut off the head of the son, uh, of the third child. And the woman sank home and began to say, Oh God, I give you praise. Father, as it pleases you, that it should be to me this way. Lord, as it pleases you. Daddy, as it pleased you. As it pleased you, that it will happen to me this way. Glory to your name. Father, as it pleases you, see you that it will happen this way. That they will die this way. I'm still standing for you. That they as it pleases you, that they will die this way. Hallelujah be your name. You saw how her trial came. Her three children to die to prove if she still loved Jesus. But you, you only one child is sick. One week is sick. You begin to, God, where are you? God, do you mean you don't answer prayer again? God, where are you? God, where are you? Jay! We are like pap Christians. When we're supposed to be stone Christians. We are like pap. Doing it our way. Eating and drinking and growing fat. Mm. Those of you that are eating now and growing fat, make sure you make it to a rapture. If you don't go to a rapture and refuse to take the mark of CCC, the Antichrist will so come. And for one week you have not eaten all. Begin to practice it now. You begin to practice two things. Either you begin to practice pure holiness. Practice the word of God and not be only the hearers. But if you don't practice the word of God, begin to practice how to stay for one week without eating. Because it will surely happen if you miss rapture. The woman lost the three children to make heaven. To prove to Jesus how much I love you. Oh, go away, money. Go away, car. Go away, houses. Jesus is all in all in my life. Can we not give you the value and life? Jesus will give you money, education, friend, honor, fame. We not give you that value, but Jesus alone can give it to you, child. Only Jesus can give it to you. Only Jesus can give them to you. Can you imagine? You're a mother. Can you imagine looking at your children? And robbers coming and saying, and then these people coming and saying, police of where you are living, coming and saying, if you don't deny Jesus, I'll kill your children. Some of us will call it wisdom. Ah, I will deny Jesus right now. Uh -huh. When they go back, I'll confess. No. Mm. I am for Jesus in every situation. I am for the Lord alone. I am for Jesus, I am for Jesus, I am for Jesus alone. Are you for Jesus? I am for Jesus, I am for Jesus, I am for Jesus alone. Jesus alone, no, I am for Jesus, I am for Jesus, I am for Jesus alone. May God give us grace to love him. Grace! To continue with him in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. We still continue about what a man passed through and what a man suffered. A man, Moses, who ran the race we are running today. Even in the days of law, he has such a grace to run. How much more this dispensation of grace? The Moses never had a popular wedding. The death of his wedding, his father was not there. His mother was not there. His brothers were not there. His sisters were not there. 
His relations were not there. Have you seen what Moses passed through? You still hold on this God. Do you have an excuse? Did you have an excuse to abandon God? Do you think you have an excuse to go down? You don't have an excuse. I am for Jesus. 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 Can you salute him? I am for Jesus. I am for Jesus. I am for Jesus. Hello. Jesus name I am for Jesus. I am for Jesus. I am for Jesus. Hello. Amen. If you can't die for Jesus, you are not worth living for him. If you can't die for him. <laughs> mm, even if I don't have something, I have Jesus, I have it all. If I don't have money, I have Jesus, I have it all. If I don't have husband, if I don't have children, if I don't have wife, if I don't have money, property, but I have Jesus, I have it all. For Jesus is all in all. I am for Jesus. I am for Jesus. I am for Jesus. I am for Jesus alone. I am for Jesus. I am for Jesus. I am for Jesus alone. Amen. How far have you been in trial period? How far have you been passing through trial period? You are crying, it's pending you. You are crying this and this and that. But that's how your gain will be. The level of your pain will determine the level of your gain. Mm. God will show us mercy. Child of God, buckle up. Continue. Continue, Jesus say. Don't get tired. Continue. I am coming very soon. I say, continue. Jesus say, continue, continue. Continue. I am coming very soon. Look at how lukewarm you are. Can you pick up your prayer life again? Can you pick up that evangelism life again? Can you pick up that holy life again? Can you pick that forgiveness again? Lord, those things you were doing before, you dropped them. But today the Lord said, arise and shine, for your light has come. The light of God has risen upon you, child of God. God is trying to nurture you. God is trying to bring the best out of you through trial period. Wait, I say, wait. Wait in the time of God. God has time for you. I said, don't rush. Wait, wait, wait. Wait for the time of God. God is coming. He said, wait for him. Where are you called to wait? Some are called to wait at the door. Some are called to wait at the sitting room. Some are called to wait in the wilderness. Some are called to wait in the motor park. But I say, wait, wait for him. He's coming. He knows where to meet you. I say, wait for the Lord. Wait for him. Stop being in a haste. I say, wait and wait for this great king. Wait and wait for this man of war. You say, I pass through this. I pass through this. I pass through this. I pass through this. I don't know where God is. He is still there. He is alive. He is powerful. He is strong. Wait for him. Hmm? Wait. He is coming. My rewarder, my rewarder is coming. Our rewarder, my rewarder is coming. We have gone into idolatry. Do you know in some churches? Do you know in some churches? If music is going on, all of a sudden, maybe the power sees and the equipment and the, the, the musical band Stop. Ah, people say today's service now, wow, but in those days we were using our hands. <laughs> we are using our hands to praise the Lord. That's the first musical instrument you are giving. Sometimes we will so jam it <laughs> as if it will break. It will not break. Hmm? We become idolatry. Some of us get to church to dance, not to worship God. Because of the car, and the day I went to that church, I decided I would worship here. Because of the musical instrument, you are not born again. You are not yet born again. I am a lover of music. The devil loves music too. 
He was a choir master. They don't know that. Oh, how I wish you will understand. How I wish you will understand. How I wish you will understand what the Lord is preparing for you. How I wish you will understand. How I wish your eyes will be open to see the wickedness of the devil. How I wish your eyes will be open. How I wish your eyes will be open to see what the devil is waiting for in eternity and to see an open arm of Jesus saying, come on. Come on to me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on to me, or you that are heavy laden, I will give you rest. Simply because God is passing through a, 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 a trial period. You have changed. Your character changed. Everything changed. You will mark it too. He's going to mark it. This is time for you to be broken, but you refuse to be broken. God told me this afternoon that he's fed up with a lot of children of God. He's fed up with a lot of us. He's dropping some of us now to go on with new people. You told me that I said, there are even some people I'm using now that I will use more, but they will not make heaven. Then why is the sense of using me if I will not make heaven? Heaven, that glorious place, I got to go back. I got to be there. May God help you. May God help me. In the name of Jesus. Moses never had a royal wedding. He was brought up in a royal place, but he wedded in a bush. <laughs> none of his representative none of his relation was there but he had his wedding look at verse 21 where you are reading in Exodus chapter 2 look at verse 21 look at verse 21 look at verse 21 uh, uh, and Moses was content to dwell with the man and he gave Moses Zipporah, his daughter. Have you seen it? Just no ceremony. No ceremony. Okay. Uh, you have been here without your happy note, keeping the animal, this and this and that. Okay. Uh, Moses, um, you are this, you are that, you are that. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Let's stop on point seven tonight. We're going to stop on point seven tonight. Okay? We're stopping on point seven. Point seven. He was subjected to rearing sheep. He was subjected to rearing sheep. Let's see Exodus chapter 3, verse 1. He was subjected. Somebody that has zeal. To come and lead the people of God. Lead them. I'll be their leader. I'll be this and this and that. He was, it is not easy in leadership. Look at the statement. And listen to him. He said. That if he dies. It's even better he died. That if he died. That Biafra will come quick. Say, ah, ah. What kind of man is this? Biafra, it does not be Afra in eternity. Biafra cannot save his soul. But he said, if he die, Biafra will come quicker. He's ready to die for cause of Biafra. You're not ready to die for Jesus. Very soon, there'll be a mighty shaking all over the world. To know people who are standing for God and people who are not standing for God. Very soon, people will begin to deny their faith. There shall be shaking. He was subjected to rearing animal. Somebody who was, who, who was prepared to rule men. Control men, lead them out of bondage, was reduced to real animal for 40 good years. Look at Exodus chapter 3, verse 1. And Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father in law, the priest of Midian. And he led the flock to the backside of the desert and came to the mountain of God, even to Her Horeb. He was really an animal. Hmm? I was asking God why. A man that is meant for people, you remove, reduce him to come and re rear sheep. God said, yes. That sheep is the only thing that is as foolish as man. That is why he wants him to know the foolishness of animal. So that he can easily control the stupidity of man. Yeah. Where you are now might not be where God wants you to be. But he is only preparing you for a higher use and a greater use somewhere. Where God prepare you is not where he will use you most of the times. He's preparing you for uses somewhere. 
that if God is preparing you for use, then what are you complaining? Why are you complaining? You are not used to be alone, but God has made you to be alone for some time so that you will know the value of staying with God. Hey, nah, I'm alone. Nah, nah, eh. You know, I feel too lonely. Why should you feel lonely? Do you know that God has so dealt with me with the loneliness that I enjoy loneliness so much? Sometimes when my wife you know, moves out, go to work, my children are not there, I will just lock up everywhere. I will stay with the Lord. I will enjoy his presence. I will enjoy his presence so much. I was talking with my wife this afternoon. I said, honey, do you remember when we got married? When we start praying, maybe after praying for four hours, five hours, you will leave me to go and prepare. Maybe after eight hours, you still come back. Or nine hours, you still come back, meet me. And then we'll pray. You go away after two hours again, and I'll continue praying. I will say, yes, if I didn't do all those things now, you will you eat food if you, wouldn't you eat food if you finish praying? I say, it's true. It's true. Women are wonderful. Especially when you have a warmth sent from God. May God help us. We're going to draw a stop for here and we're going to continue about Moses. I told you that things about Moses is so mighty. What he passed through before he came to where he was. Sometimes an elder is just not only somebody with gray hair, but somebody with gray matter. Sharp one and a living one. Somebody who has passed through the experience of life. You saw what Pharaoh asked uh, Jacob, how old are you? Jacob said, I have passed through a lot of experience. Somebody that wrestled with God. Yeah, somebody that took his brother's birthright by force. God had given it to him, but he took it in a trickish way. He suffered for it. He deceived his brother and went and sat for seven years. He was equally deceived. The deceiver must be deceived. The deceived must be deceived. Whosoever that deceived people must be deceived. No matter how intelligent you are. Having heard this word of God right now, don't you think the best thing to do now is to give your life to Jesus and be born again? And the righteousness of Jesus to come into your life. You're jumping from one church to another, one church to another, one church. This pastor provoked this, 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 this. You give account. You're supposed to have been a disciple that will disciple other people. But you're only finding fault in men of God. Instead of being in your father's house, you're seeing it as the house of pastors. If that place you're worshiping is not okay, go to where they serve God in truth and in purity. Stop deceiving yourself. Too much talking brings quick judgment and some powerful judgment on you. Bible said, learn how to be quiet. Your problem is that you talk too much. And whenever you are provoked, you pour venom on people. Look at your character. Are you still a daughter of Zion? Are you still born again? Are you still going to that heaven? A wise woman will build her house. Foolish one will tear it down. Are you wise or are you foolish? Is it not time to repent? I said, God, I'm ready to bear. All these things are try. I will bear them to the end. Bible didn't say, he that was trying will make it. He that endured to the end. Are you ready to endure to the end? When you are ready to endure to the end, the great grace of God will come. And his mighty hand and power will come. There will be dancing, there will be rejoicing. And Christ shall be honored in you forevermore. Amen. What a mighty God we serve. Heaven and earth adore him. Even the angels bow before him. We lift him higher than the highest. We praise and bless him forevermore. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Glory to Jesus. Can you begin to say, God, show me mercy. Look at what Moses passed through. Nobody was there to comfort him. Nobody was there to do. You don't go to fellowship because you were sick. Brethren didn't come. You have when a problem. They didn't treat you the way you felt they should treat you. And you, don't, you abandon the fellowship. No, you are not doing it right. May God be our help. Shall we pray? Begin to talk to God. Tell him, Lord, give me grace to endure to the end. I have complained so much. I've even complained to people I'm not supposed to complain. Look at unbelievers. I'm telling them how God is treating me. I'm telling unbelievers what I'm passing through and they're pitying me. No, I'm sorry. I've sang the song of Zion in a strange land. No, I will not sing this song again in a strange land. I've told them that my God is not able to do it and deliver me to the end. I'm sorry about that. I've cried. I'll cry no more. Mighty hand of God should fall upon me. Before we pray, are you born again? Are you a pretender in the house of God? Are you born again? 
even if you are. Have you not been slided? Would you want to come back? Let's pray for the people that want to come back or people that want Jesus as Lord and Savior. Can you say, Lord Jesus? I'm sorry I'm a sinner. <laughs> Forgive me all my sins. <laughs> Give me grace to be your child. I repent of all my sins today. I receive you back into my life, Lord, as my Lord and Savior. Now and forevermore. May God share you forever and bless you. May God's hand be seen in your life. And let his glorious, powerful hand walk upon you. May he give you grace to live a holy, clean life and live for Jesus alone. No more double standard life, but a pure, clean life now and forevermore in Jesus' name. Now that you've received him, read your Bible. Go to a place where they treat the truth of the word of God. Or tune channels, not the one that will prophesy to you and tell you people who are killing you, devils, pursuing demon. No. Go to those channels where they preach the truth of the word of God. Go to church with that still believe in the wrong word of God. And God will give you grace to continue. I pray for everybody. Child of God. God is saying somebody is listening to him who is too used to him. The Lord said, I should tell you. Your time of abandonment by God will soon come. And the Lord said, when I abandon you, when I will leave you, when my spirit will finally leave you, it will, you will have all regrets in life. Can you begin to say, God, don't depart from me, please. The Lord said, I've warned you and warned you and warned you again. He said, but your heart is like a stone. Can you say, God, I'm sorry. I don't know who he's talking to. But can you tell him, I'm sorry. Can you say, Lord, I'm sorry. I repent. Are you talking to me, Daddy? I bow before you. In humility and in honor, I bow. I cannot serve myself. I cannot serve myself. Oh, God, save my soul. Ask him to save you now. Tomorrow might be too late. Tomorrow might be too late. Miss your Lord. Can you begin to say, God, I'll complain no more. I will lift up my hand in praise. You know what you're doing. Go ahead and finish what you started in my life. Can that be your prayers? Can you tell him, Daddy, to the end? I want to follow you to the end. If you follow him to the end, you will enjoy. Thank you, Daddy. For your love and mercy. Thank you, Daddy. For your greatness and goodness. Thank you, Daddy. For your salem power, might and majesty. Mm. The great grace of God. And the great grace, glory of God upon you. Christ be honored. Christ be adored. Forever in the name of Jesus. Amen. His divine peace on you again. And his divine majestic grace upon you. I cover in the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I pray that you are away from every sleep and slumber. May God wake us from every sleep and from every slumber, and then let righteousness shine upon our life. And let the great grace of God be our portion and possession. Let's abide to sin and unrighteousness, and let the purity of God come into our life. The God of heaven and earth remain our portion forever, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Daddy. Hallowed be your name for being the God of love and God of mercy in the name of Jesus. Restore us to yourself. We know it's not easy to see the glory of God. But whatever thing it will take to see the glory, give us grace to see your glory. And let the glory rapture us on the last day so that we'll be with you forever. Let your glory come back to our family. Or oh, the family here that the glory of God have left. As you are repenting now, let the glory come back again. Let the peace come back again. God is trying to tell me, so there's the family here, the glory of God has left you. Because you have break the head, the devil is about coming in to strike. Let him not be dead. Too. You have given devil chance in your family. God has been warning you. And God said, he, the head is broken and devil is about to strike. Won't you wake up and say, God, I'm sorry. Hedge is broken. No more protection. 
And he said, God, restore back my protection. I am sorry. Is it with my husband? Is it with my wife? Is it with my child? Is it with who? Is it with my mother? Is it with my father? God, I restore. Restore back. Restore back that glory. Restore back that peace again. Restore back that genuineness and love. Let the name of Christ be glorified for unto the Lord be the glory. Daddy, thank you. Hallowed be the name of man of war. For unto the Lord be the glory in Jesus' name. Jesus must be honored. Jesus must be glorified. Jesus must be praised. Now and forevermore in Jesus' name. God bless you. His peace rule over your life. I may his divine joy come upon you. Now and forevermore in Jesus' name. We got to meet again by Sunday morning, 9 a.m. Nigerian time. Yes. We got to meet. Possibly you may not have where you worship. Be online with us on Sunday by 9 a.m. Like our YouTube. Also, subscribe. Damian Nikekwe is our YouTube. Subscribe to our YouTube. Then, ask your question. We have program 15, 16, and 17. We can only contact, accept questions now. Time will come when we say no more questions, don't ask again, so that we compile the one we have and give answers. Michael, your questions have not come. Maureen, your questions have not come. May God help us. See us thoroughly through in every aspect. Thank you so much for being a lover of God. Don't just love him, live by his word. God bless you. Jesus loves you, so do I. Thank you so much. It is well with you. In Jesus' name.